Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to add um, VirtualBox drivers to a VirtualBox. Now the reason that you might want to do this uh, is because this distro, uh, which is MX1432, uh, doesn't have VirtualBox drivers installed, so you only get a limited screen size. Uh, if you're like me, I like playing with distros, uh, new um, live DVDs, live CDs, live USBs, and we want to have the full experience. We want to have them as large as possible, taking up a full screen. Now in this state, it won't do that. So what we need to do is install the virtual box drivers. Okay, so click on devices and go down to insert guest editions. Click on that and then open the virtual CD. So the file we want, we need to use via the command line. So I'll right click and uh, open terminal here. And this is the file we want. Now if we execute it, nothing's going to happen. Uh, rename we could use if it was available to get the get the name. But it means to do a little bit of typing. So the easiest way to do this first is to click back onto the terminal and type in the name of the file. So we have to be careful here. So let's move this down because we want to get the name right. Okay, so we can see that I've started to go wrong here. We must have the uppercase and lowercase in the correct order. So we type in V, capital V, capital B, O X, capital L, I N U X, capital A, and DD, I T I N S dot R U N. Right, now go back to the beginning, move back up, and type uh, dot and slash. It doesn't run like that. It's telling you that it must run with administrator privileges, so it's got to be run as root. So I'll type, press the app arrow to bring it up again, and then this time type in sudo, or whatever uh, command you need to access the, um, the root access. Okay, and then type in your password. Press enter, and it'll start, and it could take a little bit of time. Okay, and you can see that it starts, and it starts installing. It can take a little bit of time, as I said, but not too much, I hope. So you as well, uh, back to the terminal command line, you can export those off. Now we need to restart. Click restart. Virtual box. And it'll start in a large screen. So from here, you can uh, press right control and F to make it full screen. And then to make it smaller, you'd be able to click on the bar here and make it smaller. Okay, that's how to add VirtualBox additions to your Linux install, Virtual Linux install.